Hey guys, welcome back, it's Matt here. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at this really tiny vlog camera, so it's a pretty small size, technically actually smaller than the Galaxy Buds, so you can really fit this anywhere. But this is the Akeso keychain, and something really cool is that it can actually be capable of up to 4K video at 30 FPS. Now, I always like to start out with the price. So the price of this is $100 or 77 pounds. So it's a very cheap and quite affordable camera. So you might wanna be considering this against some other action cameras. But the one thing I do wanna point out is that it's only IP56 water and dust resistant. So basically it can only handle a few splashes and you don't wanna be taking this pretty much anywhere near water or underneath, but in rain and strong conditions, then it should hold up okay. In terms of the actual design of it, I actually quite like it. It's quite a solid plastic and it's sort of glossy on the front. You do have this LED ring, so if you're in dark conditions, it can go ahead and actually light you up a little bit. Now, it's not the brightest thing in the world, but it's still quite nice to have. But yeah, on the side, there's this sort of volume rocker, which is like a power on and pairing button in one. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I knock this thing all the time. I always turn the camera off and just knock it in my pocket. Um, that's just, I feel like it's not the best placement of buttons. Uh, it's just very easy to knock right there on the side because it's kind of where you hold it. Now, in terms of the actual color, I have the white one. Um, it does come in sort of different pastel shades of colors like a blue, green, and a pink, I think. So there's some options, but I kind of think the white one's okay. And something I really like about this is it's got USB-C. So in this little flap underneath, it has a USB-C port. Basically means you only need one charger when you travel anywhere. And there's also a micro SD card slot. Now this can only take up to 64 gigabytes. Now it doesn't really bother me only having 64 gigabytes as the maximum storage capacity because it's got Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz. And so using the actual app that it comes with, you can go ahead and transfer your media pretty quickly without really any effort and then just post it from your phone or just store it on there and transfer it over to your laptop later. Now throughout pretty much the past two weeks of using this, I had one hiccup, one case where I couldn't work out what was going on and it just wasn't doing anything. And so I had to use the reset pin. So there is like a reset pin also in this flap underneath. But this is an early version, so I can't really judge it too much for that. But the official version will come out on Monday, October 26th, which is probably when I'm gonna be posting this video. So yeah, that's when the full version comes out. The link will be down below, by the way, if you wanna check that out. In terms of the resolutions it supports, it does 720p, 120 FPS, 1080p at 30 and 60, and then it's got 2.7K at 30 and 60, and then 4K at 30 hertz. So it also has some slow motion features like 720p, 120 FPS, but to be honest, as soon as I dropped the resolution below 4K, the overall outcome of the video kind of looked just over sharpened and it just didn't look anywhere near as good as when I had it in 4K. And I'm pretty sure that wasn't just the resolution. Something about the processing just didn't look as good when I stepped it down to even 2.7K. But you also have time-lapse mode. You can take 20 megapixel photos with it. So there is quite a lot of things you can do with this. Something I was really impressed with was, obviously it doesn't have optical image stabilization. It's a pretty cheap device, but the electronic image stabilization in this is really good. Like the algorithm they use, it really does give like a smooth outcome when I do my videos. Uh, using this, it's just very, very smooth. And it did actually impress me because it's sort of on the level of like a GoPro or something. It's actually very stable. And I was just holding this freehand with no gimbal or no handle or anything, just purely holding it. And it was a really good result. So in terms of battery life, it did take about 30 or 40 minutes to charge up. Um, and you can only actually get about 60 minutes, maybe a little bit more out of this, but when I have it at 4K, it really does drain it. So yeah, you're probably gonna have to charge this up quite a bit. It's not too bad because it's USB-C, but it does take quite a while. So that may be something you wanna consider. But one of my favorite things was all the accessories it came with. It came with like a little clip so you can clip it onto your clothes. It came with like a magnetic sort of pad. So you can go ahead and place that like behind your shirt or just behind a thin object. And it allows you to go ahead and stick things to non-metal objects. Obviously it does have a magnet built in. So if you're walking past like a lamppost, you can definitely go ahead and stick this on the lamppost. And it also came with like a little pivot stand as well. So you can sort of stand it up and pivot it into a set position, which is also nice. So there's a bunch of things included. Now it also comes with a nice case, which does protect it against small drops and you might want to apply that. It's just a silicone case and that actually may help against the accidental button presses, which is nice. But the case has this loop and you can attach it onto like a keychain or a backpack. And yeah, there's just so many different purposes you could use for this camera. There's so many use cases for it. But yeah, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and take a look at some actual footage that I took using this camera just purely with nothing else, just me holding this and walking around, all the audio is captured on it and it was pretty windy as well. So we'll see how the audio holds up. Okay, this is a quick test at 4K 30 FPS. So yeah, it's very smooth. 
Let me know what you think about the quality. When I watched it back, it didn't seem to have my face in focus. So hopefully, hopefully it's in focus now. Maybe I had it too close. There we go. Now the wind has stopped. This is how the audio sounds with pretty much no wind with the wind filter turned on. That actually looks like a, it looks like a proper vlog. Like. Okay, this is a video test at 2.7K at 60 FPS. Oh, the audio is probably horrific. But yeah, <laughs> I know, right? Good job I got the wind noise option on. But uh, wow, it looks, it looks very smooth. Like it looks ridiculously smooth. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my opinion on the Akeso keychain. It's a very good camera for the size and the price. It's not the best thing in the world, um, but I think if you just want something to record 4K, I'd say that's a pretty good reason to buy this. Now it does time lapses and all those other features, but realistically, the best part about it is the 4K. That's the, the best thing I found anyway. So yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I can film me while driving. So when I have an accident, I'll be like, oh, it, it wasn't.